All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout New Vegas mini series of Retribution, where today we're going to be continuing on with our Legion adventure here in the Until It Sleeps quest, where uh, hopefully Sextus is going to give us the locale of the next one of the leaders of the Bullhead Massacre, so we can get back into the normal things after our quick sidetrack recently of um, failing at torturing and. Becoming a partner in a drug den? <laughs> we, uh... Hmm. We've made decisions, haven't we? All right, well, let's have a little chat with our buddy here and see what he's hey, got. Yo, sex is. You've returned. I have. So... Any updates? Mars favored us today. Take a look at this. Mm-hmm. Local newspaper let loose that Major Jane Scully is stationed at Camp McGarren. Okay. She was the NCR operative responsible for the revolt at Bullhead. Oh. Due to her success, the bear has been pushing her as the newest face of the Republic. Got it. I'm sure her being a woman doesn't hurt either. They love using them to demoralize us. <laughs> but as usual, the NCR's pride will be their downfall. <laughs> First... I want you to go to Camp McCarran and find out any information you can on the slaves. Get it? Find Jane's documents, or interrogate her if you must. Any intel that exists on them will be in her hands. Once you have that, kill her. Not only will another ghost from the debacle be put to rest, but we will also remove their latest hero and field commander. Alright, we'll do! Your unique position is perfect for this mission since you may be able to walk right into the camp without trouble. Yeah, I should. NCR doesn't hate me. If not, I recommend a disguise. A one-man siege on McCarran is bold, but unwise. <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be a bad plan. We're supposed to be an assassin. Get in without causing issues. That doesn't always work for us, but okay, okay. Let's, uh... Oh, God. Kill Major Scully and find Scully's intel about the slaves. Got it. Okay. Time to... How about I go to Camp McCarran? <laughs> Which this character has not gone into yet, so I don't remember. Did we have to do anything before getting access to Camp McCarran? I do not remember in the slightest, but oh well, let's go to the El Ray Motel. There we are, and then into Camp McCarran. And hopefully not fail at interrogation. I should probably look at my stats again real quick. Uh, let's see, over in our skills, what's our speech? 45? That's not bad, it's not bad at all. Before we talk to this person to try and get info from them, we might want to take a skill book or something. Do we have a magazine for that? I mean, we got boxing times, uh, fixing things, no, that's not going to help. What's the one, was it meeting people? Is that the... Yeah, that's the speech one. I have three of those. Oh, wonderful. Mintat should also help, shouldn't they? Yeah, with one plus one charisma. Huh. Huh. So yeah, I probably should have paid more attention to my stats before we went into the um, the torturing thing recently. Uh, granted... Wasn't it like... Oh, what skills were they wanting us for that one before? Was it like unarmed and something else? Yeah, I think it was unarmed and melee, which... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not our things. All right, well, let's head into Camp McCarran and see what we got. Yeah, NCR doesn't hate me right now, so I definitely got to make sure we kill this person without getting seen. Because, uh, yeah, I like that currently we can go where we please. All right, let's go. You're not going to stop me? Sweet. Are these steel? They're steel. <laughs> I mean, of course they are. Of course they are. I had to check, though, just in case. Uh, all right, so we got a door and a tent flap. Okay, okay. I don't know which one's which. So, let's go... Hmm. Let's go the door one first. Yeah, might as well. And requires key. Never mind. <laughs> It is also the middle of the night. I should probably wait till morning where uh, hopefully that person will be wandering around, perhaps. Let's go to the tent. See what's what over here. Hello, uh, Private private Jory. Requires key. Okay, I should sleep. Hi, Jory. Papers, please. Papers? Uh... <laughs> uh... 
I should I should back away. We got us there, but I mean, we do have NCR rep we can use. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I'll use that. Why not? Uh, oh yeah, I've heard of you. I'm sure Major Scully could use some assistance. Oh, wonderful! You know, I should have read the thing. We okay. Hey, hmm. Let me get the door for you. Thank you, Private Jory. Okay, I was just thinking we probably should have read the thing because that might um, the info we got from uh, Sextus, because maybe that Keith name would make sense. Wait, hold on. What's my character's name again? No, that's not my character's name. <laughs> I've entirely forgotten what my... Oh, no, that is my character's name. Cool, cool. I just entirely forgot what we named them. Excellent. All right. Oh, yeah, I named them after that ghost that haunts a brewery up in Canada somewhere. Cool, cool. I entirely forgot our name. <laughs> so I usually have our character named either Kodobos or something, let's be honest, cringy. Uh, but... <laughs> forgot our name all right watch out skirt wearers <laughs> here's a new face of the ncr and she's much prettier than your boyfriend <laughs> oh that's funny major jane scully of the ncr has recently returned from a successful mission south of the mojave where she managed to free over 300 slaves from legion captivity now that's what i call overbearing oh that was awful Wasteland Word journalist Allison Goobers had an exclusive interview with Major Scully at Camp McCarran where they discussed the operation. Really, I'm not a hero or anything special like that, Scully said. I was just doing what I thought was right. Wow, beautiful and humble. Better find her for fast, boys, because something tells me Miss Scully is going to have a lot of admirers soon. Major Scully chose to make no comment about her current relationship status. We here at the Wasteland World look forward to hearing more about the Major's exploits. So who knows? Perhaps a presidential run is in store for the NCR's mama bear. Damn, already trying to push her into presidency, huh? The Wasteland Word is sponsored by the Atomic Wrangler. Come on down to the Atomic Wrangler. They got geckos that could fit into a dog's hand only at the Anto atomic wranglers do they neat <laughs> all right so cool little article wonderful well i was able to convince myself to get into here so what do we got all right i mean we got other people too oh, ncr ranger trooper i mean i know the thing's pointing there but i'm curious if any of these people have names and might have info if we talk Everything seems empty in this... Okay, well, never mind. Ooh, hello, big book of science. Oh, it's still... I'd have to be steel. All right, we'll just go talk to her. Yo, Major Jane Scully. Yes. Is there something you need? Well, first off... Wow, okay, so Sextus, I always have to turn up his volume because it's always way too loud. Hers, I'm going to have to turn down. <laughs> that was super... Super loud, unlike Sextus. Did I say he's always loud? No, he's always... He's not loud. He's very quiet. Uh, I need to go take that, you know, magazine that I was literally talking about moments ago. Bye. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. I just need to read a magazine real quick, and then we can chat. Meeting people. Let's take the men tattoo, just to add a little bit more, even though we only needed the magazine. <sighs> yes... Is there something you need? Mm-hmm. So, are you Major Scully? We have an interview scheduled. Another one, huh? Uh-huh. Oh. Brass wasn't kidding about the press. Also, her voice went back to normal volume. All right. Wait, what? <laughs> sure. I could use a break from work. Right. What do you want to ask? Well... Let's see. Actually, it's a bit loud here. Could we go somewhere more private? Sure. One of the perks of being major is I get my own quarters. Oh, sweet. The other building. Might as well use them. Excellent. All right. She's uh, left for her quarters. Beautiful. I assume the other building we saw. Oh, I want the radios. Just not that we have a use for them, but... <laughs> Yeah, I guess her, just her greeting was super loud. Her actual little talking, though, was, like, perfect volume. Wait, hold on. Did I did I miss something over there? Why did I go to miscellaneous? Hmm. 
There might be more intel in there, maybe? I don't know. Just over here. Also, she's probably a tougher one to kill, so let's, uh... What gun to use? Definitely not you. You're too low damage. Why do I even keep you around? <laughs> Sleepy time probably would be best, let's be honest. Yeah, there we go. And it's silent too, yay! Alright, and into Major Scully's quarters. Alright, there's definitely gonna be something in here I can steal, probably. Oh, hey! More meeting people and a little super view. No, 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 no bedtime. No, no. Oh, hey, your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, completed. Find the intel about the slaves. I, I guess because I saw the computer. <laughs> Wait, don't I have to kill her? <laughs> Wait, did the, did the quest just glitch itself? No, no, we still have to kill her. Okay, just, we got the intel technically, which we really haven't. Oh man, if only I had the lady killer perk, we could just take her out now in her sleep. Hmm. You know what I've been treading a while? Oh, what was it called? The uh, what was the nickname for it? The Sadie Shan the Sand Shuffle? Putting a grenade in someone's pocket? <laughs> Maybe we do that. Huh. I mean, if, if, if it doesn't work... You know, what? What's my skills? What's my skills? Would be in there? What would Pink Pocket be under, actually? <laughs> I would assume Sneak, right? Yup, Sneak. Sweet. <laughs> we got 75. That should do it. Do we have... Do we have grenades? I don't... You know, I don't have grenades. Do I have a plasma grenade? Well, that's certainly one way we could go about this. Or just that, you know? I mean... I guess I do have a perk there for that. <laughs> Quiet. Perfect. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Alright, now go to the computer. Yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess we did have the right thing we needed for murdering them in their sleep. All right, Operation Buried Misery Postmortem. I, Major James Scully, was a mission lead for Operation Buried Misery. Some commanders consisted of fellow undercover operatives Lieutenant Ched Boris of the NCR Rangers and Corporal Michael Van Dan of the 1st Recon Division. The objective of a Buried Misery was to liberate the slave population of the Legion-occupied territory of Bullhead. This was to be done covertly and without engaging enemy hostiles. Early on, the con uh, contact was successfully made... With the slave Icarus, a figure of respect and authority amongst the slave population. Icarus proved co cooperative in regards to the operation. Other slaves, Crixus and Vucera, were introduced into the operation to provide direction and protection to the slave body being evacuated. Plans were devised to make an exodus at... 0100 hours while simultaneously procuring food and medical supplies. Rafts were already made for transporting up the Colorado River. We're getting how they make all the rafts without getting noticed. Hmm. So this time, Lieutenant Boris and Colonel Van Dan, without clearance, apprehended a Legion Centurion commander of Bullhead, Marcellus Vero. Boris and Van Dan coerced Vero into a plea deal in exchange for amnesty and MCR NCR citizenship. Vero would evacuate his garrison from Bullhead, despite being a mission lead. I felt I had no authority to veto this deal or apprehend Van Dan or Boris, given the circumstances. Highly recommend that High Command conduct a full investigation on both Lieutenant Boris and Corporal Van Dan for insubordination. Vero kept his word and evacuated the majority of his garrison before willingly going into our custody. At this time, several combat engagements between slaves under the command of Icarus, Crixus, and Vicera, and Legion forces occurred. 33 Legion personnel were killed, 24 Allied personnel were killed, and 45 injured. 43 civilian personnel were killed, 67 injured. I cannot in good faith say that all harmed civilians were the result of crossfire or misfire. An innumerable portion were targeted by the Allied slaves. After fighting had ceased evacuation of the slaves' command Commenced, Allied personnel failed to procure ample medical and food supplies. As a result, 27 Allied personnel were lost during transport. 
Upon entering Mojave territory, Thordia's 36 allied personnel deserted the party, led by Slave Crixus. Lieutenant Boris and Corporal Van Dan also departed the party to escort Vera to the Mojave Embassy on my orders. After which, I negotiated terms for settling the slave population with remaining slave leaders Vesera and Icarus. We could not reach an agreement and fighting occur between NCR forces and allied slaves as instigated by Vesera. Eleven slaves were killed, an unknown amount injured, four NCR soldiers were killed, six injured. The remaining slave population deserted from the party during the fighting. On my orders, the 6th Battalion followed Viser and his party. Reports suggest he and his 24 followers occupy the remnants of Wolfhorn Ranch. Okay, that's where we're heading next, probably. As mission lead, I would declare Operation Buried Misery to have failed. Alright, I mean, it did kind of go sideways, didn't it? Cool, we got the note. I mean, might as well look around for more loot while I'm in here. She's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> I got my addiction removed. Let's not grab all the whiskey and scotch in the world, though. Damn, she had a, a lot of booze in here. <laughs> all right, anything else of value or uh, use to us? No, nothing there. Nothing there. God, I really want to take them all, though. I really want to take them. Damn, she really does have a lot. <laughs> no, no, we just got our addiction removed. But hey, you know what? Might as well celebrate. <laughs> hey, God, I have... So <laughs> Why do I have so much wine? <laughs> there we go. Okay, we'll drink that and uh, just casually walk out. With no one being the wiser. <laughs> And, granted, I did give my name to the uh, one soldier, but hey, no one detected me. So, back to Codwood Cove. Nice. All right. So, we have intel on where... Oh, wine wore off. <laughs> oh, no, the Mentats wore off. <laughs> and the wine. There we go. Wonderful. Okay. So we now know where one of the groups is and and where that Varus guy is, too. We're probably going to have to go kill him at the embassy at some point soon. That would make sense. Oh, God. Actually, I'm going to quick save before we walk by him. I mean, he did say he wasn't going to work with me again after I failed the interrogation slash torture. But um, still, just in case he says something. Quick save. And into sex. This is Shaq. Yo, buddy. As always, of course. Of course I have. Scully's dead, and I got the intel we're looking for. Fantastic work, Amicus. Without you, I believe the trail would have gone cold, and my corpse would be hanging from a cross. Quite possibly. Take this and get some rest. Sweet. We have a lot of work to do. I mean... Alright, five more Legion things. Did I have heads to sell? But we, of course, do have our new mission here. Sad but true. Speak to Sextus again. We are only at 16 minutes, so, I mean, why not? Yo, Sixtus! You've returned. Of course! And I do have heads. Wonderful. How many? Well, uh, Here's probably only a couple. Here's Here's your... two, Here's... three, Very three well. is it. Alright, so what is next, then? Thanks to the intel you retrieved, mm -hmm. we can start putting the final nails into this revolt. Wonderful. First... We have to take care of the traitor responsible for it all. Marcellus Varro. I was just saying. <laughs> Varro was the Genturian in charge of Bullhead, and the one who gave the order for the garrison to evacuate the city. <laughs> if it wasn't for him, the revolts wouldn't have caused nearly as many deaths. Perhaps it wouldn't have occurred at all. But that would require Varro not to be a coward. Mm -hmm. He brokered a deal with the NCR. Indeed. Most likely for citizenship. That seems to be That's the case. That's why he has a seat at the embassy. Do not let him get away with this, Amicus. Varro will most likely hide behind the embassy's guards. So a covert approach to his demise is advised. Well, that's what I've done so far for things, However, mostly. having served under him myself, I can tell you Varro is a prideful man. Is he now? Insult his honor, as non-existent as it may be. You could anger him into attacking you, then kill him in self-defense. Ooh, that sounds fun too. Return with news of his death, and I'll reward you seven Horus. Q. 
Okay. All right, out we go. <laughs> Hello. Oh, jeez, I got worried there if you were going to talk to me for a moment. All right, so NCR Embassy. Oh, jeez, this is going to be... Why did I go into items? New world map back over here. Oh, God, we have to go... All the way through there. All right, to the gate. God, there really needs to be a, <laughs> a fast travel point for over there instead of having to go through two gates. Oh, well. There we go, into the strip. That's the thing that's probably one of my biggest complaints about this game. The lack of a of any waypoints inside of the actual strip. <laughs> I mean, we don't even get one it's for our home. This place, I tell you. Last night, so oh, God. We gotta go through one, one more. And through we go. So, a covert approach or self-defense approach? Hmm. Curious what, curious what the covert approach might be, so let's take a look around the place to see what options we might have available to us. I have a feeling it's going to end up with the self-defense approach, though, considering... <laughs> But, well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Let's just, uh, just quick save again right there. Yeah, there we are. And in we go. Let's see what we got in the embassy here. All right, sweet, so, uh, wait, what? That building doesn't go that far back that way from outside. <laughs> That's just what I was very confused by there. All right, so is he just walking free or is he in a, a cell over here? Oh no, he's, he's just walking free. Almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Which means he may have a bed somewhere to sleep in. And if we could just wait for him to go to bed. Help you. We could take him down that way. Just like we did with yeah, this might be in his room even. He's supposed to be a VIP, I'd think. I mean he might he might be in here, let's be honest. But Because, yeah, isn't the ambassador's room, like, somewhere else? He's got, like, a whole much nicer one. I'm thinking it's probably this room right here. Well, let's go talk to him first, see if we can actually have a little Tell conversation with him. Almost makes you wish for Hi! Oh, I don't work here. Uh -huh. If you need help, I'd ask someone else. Someone over there. Way over there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're in a SWAT vest, huh, are we? You can get away from bullheads. These are mark you for death. Uh, yeah, okay. Both of those are going to get us into the thing. I'm going to do this covertly. So, okay, bye-bye. Bye. The winner. Well, I guess we're just going to stand here awkwardly behind the counter for a while. Don't mind me, folks. <laughs> All right. So, it's like 10 hours? Yeah, 10 hours. That should be enough, Right? Right? I'm gonna go full 12. I think, I mean, probably would have been fine. It would have been 1 a.m. That definitely would have been him asleep. All right, all right. Is he going to bed now? Is he going to bed? Nope, he's just going right over there. I probably should have waited longer. <laughs> should have done the full 12. Should have done the full 12. I don't know why I thought 11 would be good. You know what? Let's make it three more just to be on the safe side. There we go. Go to bed already. Patrolling oh. the Mojave. Almost hey, he moved from his wall. Oh, come on now. Oh. <laughs> I want to kill you silently. Oh, no. Does he not go to bed? But there's... There's a bed just right over here for you, friend. I'm going to have to do the um, self-defense route, aren't I? See, these guys are sleeping. Why don't, why don't you go to bed, sir? He doesn't have a bed set, does he? Grant, neither did any of these guys. They're just all in here at all time of day, too. Uh, all right, we're going to have to do it this way. Oh, wait, he's on the move. No, dang. Yeah, I was really hoping we could just hey. kill him in his sleep. But apparently not. We're going to have to do the... Uh, Self-defense route. God, I kind of want to wait and see, though, to see if he is going to go to bed somewhere. <laughs> but nope. Nope, he just hangs out here. Eh, all right, fine. 
Still here. I am. I was hoping you'd go to bed, but apparently not. Uh, you really think you could get away with Bullhead, Vero? Bullhead? No one but a selective few should know about. Ah. <laughs> I was wondering when the old man would send his frumentari for me. <laughs> Listen, boy. Even if you kill me, which you won't, the NCR here will definitely kill you. I mean, it's certainly a possibility. I know you've been brainwashed into having no regard for your own life. Oh, I definitely have not they been. They did the same to me. But I assure you, you can break away just as I did. <laughs> Live a full life. One with goals of your own choosing. All you have to do is walk away. You know, fair, Vero. But unfortunately, unfortunately, I, I'm not a frumentary. I'm, uh, I'm just a paid assassin. So, is that what you... Oh, God, I should have taken a... Uh, a magazine. Is that what you said to yourself when you surrendered to the NCR? Shut your mouth. You've no idea what you're talking about. It wasn't my choice to join the Legion. <laughs> it wasn't my choice to own slaves. I pitied the poor fools. I wanted to help them. The NCR offered me that choice. Uh huh. I did not surrender to them. I worked with them in the name of justice. <laughs> oh crap, even if we would have had a magazine, we would have been screwed. Oh no. <laughs> As, uh, we would have gotten up to 65, and then a Mentat. Mentat wouldn't have gotten us all the way to 80. <laughs> Fight me or you're a bitch. <laughs> I mean, we're not going to just do this one, though, because I do, I do not, I refuse to lose our uh, ranking with the NCR, man. We're, we're an assassin. we got to play all sides to make money. So I guess see you later? Yeah, even with a meeting people's magazine and a Mentat. We're not going to have enough to get to 80. Damn. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Oh, he's just cool with me leaving. Go to sleep. <laughs> Hey, how close are we to another level? Uh, <laughs> uh, stats. You know, closer than I thought. Closer than I thought. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if we took if we took the Meeting People magazine, that's gonna be twenty. Some alcohol would be a plus one to charisma, but that's not gonna stack, will it? With the Mentat addition to charisma does it i think any stat boost for items don't stack with other similar things god i just want to i just i just wanted to slit his throat when he slept but no no he doesn't sleep <laughs> oh man yeah besides like the mentats here yeah i don't think It'll stack with, like, booze. Hmm. Well, you know what I'm kind of thinking of doing right now? <laughs> Ending the episode here. And maybe off camera. Going and, uh... Shooting some things real quick to get some experience to level. <laughs> and then put it all into all into speech. Because I do really want to do this covertly and properly. That being said, what I am going to do is just quick save here and do a quick little experiment. Uh, let's... So let's see. The status. We'll need the effects. Yeah, let's see if we get two charisma boosts. If we do alcohol and mentat. There we go. So if I did that... Oh, no, I am getting two charisma boosts. I didn't think... The two would stack. Well, I mean, hey, we actually might be able to do this then. Hold on. So, what's our what's our boost at right now with all of that? Ah, dang! It still wouldn't work. Still here. No. Sixty-nine of eighty. Damn. <laughs> Why don't you go to bed, Pharaoh? Go to sleep. All right, bye. bye. I'll be back when I have a level. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs>
All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode today. I am going to do that. Off cam, I'll go shoot some stuff and, uh, you know, hopefully get a level. We are pretty close, so it shouldn't be too bad for me to get, I think. God, how much experience do we get from, like, just killing a normal raider or something? Hmm. I don't know. But I'll try that, and then off camera we'll come back and kill this man, because I do want to do it properly and covertly, if only he would go to hell to bed. But, oh well, what are you going to do? Hopefully you have enjoyed this one today, and at least one successful covert kill, and you come back for the next, where hopefully we'll have a second-ish. I guess it's not covert, it'll just be blaming it on self-defense. But until that time, thank you for watching, as always. We'll have a good one.